on 16th of October, a iconic Indian pediatrician, Dr. Dilip Mahalanavis, he died. Most of the medical colleges in Calcutta, including the pediatricians, are not even aware of this person. Who was he? So I'll just take a few minutes to talk about him. At least after his death, we should know. So he was the discoverer of ORS, which has been said one of the biggest inventions of this century. He, I mean, I'm quoting from the Times of India newspaper because nowadays we have to read more from newspapers. Iconic Indian pediatrician Dilip Malanabis, who pioneered the use of ORS for treatment of diarrheal disease development of ORS, died in city based Calcutta Hospital. One of the biggest experiments which we say from bench to bedside. So while he was working from 1960 onwards on ORS, he did this experiment when there was a huge refugee camp and there were a lot of people who had come from the then East Pakistan and they were suffering from diarrhea. The government of India could not provide IV infusions. So what he did, he carried a bucket with a number of youths, but he did it in a very documented scientific way. And it was proven that the ORS could bring down the mortality. He is perhaps the only Indian doctor who was a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Science. And I remember whenever I used to go to his office, all the nominations which were for Nobel Prize in Medicine, they used to come like a book and they could be seen on his table. So he was one of the member. He was awarded the Pollen Prize in 2002 and the highest award from Thailand, King Mohodal Award. The, I just quoted some newspapers and one of the newspapers, Times of India said, how many of us are aware of the fact that the man who contributed to the development of ORS and popularized ORS worldwide is a resident of this country and from Kolkata? Not entirely our fault. Even the government, either at the state or center, has not given any recognition to the doctor, even though his contribution has been acknowledged by other countries, including the Nobel Committee. Another newspaper says, Dr. Dili Pahalas passes away. How he came up with ORS, which revolutionized trial treatment, global glory, but state apathy. Just to talk about it, he was a medical graduate from Calcutta, the college which was developed in 1835. He graduated in 1958. Then he went on to UK to do pediatrics. And while he was doing his UK residency there in Queen Elizabeth Hospital, he was attracted to pediatric research. And there he moved to John Hopkins in 1960. And then he took a scholarship from there and came back to Kolkata to work in ORS. So this was known as John Hopkins International Center for Medical Research and Training. Everything was going fine, but just before the Bangladesh war, all money stopped from coming from USA because of the souring of the relations between these two countries, India and America. With no funds, his lab got closed. In Calcutta Hospital, he used to work where that hospital was a private hospital where clothes were being washed. So he developed a small lab there. And then came the refugees in 1971 where he did the trial of ORS. From 1975 to 79, he worked in for WHO in Afghanistan, Egypt and Yemen for ORS. In 1980, he went to Geneva as a WHO consultant. Then in 1994, he was elected as a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Science. He was invited to Dhaka. He became the director of International Center for Diarrheal Disease. He was awarded the Pollen Prize in 2002 along with 
Dr. David Nalin and Dr. Richard Cash. Those of you who are not aware of pollen price, the money is the same. It is only avoided for pediatrician. It is the same as the Nobel Prize. And then he was awarded Prince Maudel Award in 2006, but with no recognition. I don't remember him being called by any national conference of IAP or NNF for delivering a lecture on ORS. A lot of times I had mentioned it also, but uh, for some reason that was not there. So this is the thing which was 1971 with a bucket used to walk every morning. And if you have not visited a refugee camp during army times, during war times, then you have no idea how to work in it. And uh, IV fluids had gone down. There was a mortality of 30%. With ORS, it came down to 3%. This is the pollen price he got with uh, two of his other colleagues. But just to complete the story, there was another person whose name is still not yet taken, Himendra Nath Chatterjee. He had developed very close to ORS as early as 1950. And if you see the ORS composition and his composition, his sodium chloride was 4 gram, the current ORS is 3.5, Glucose was 25, it is 20, and potassium, as early as 1950. But he was heavily criticized by the Western press till date, though he was also from medical college and he seemed to. The only thing which his work did not carry, he did not, though his article was published in Lancet, it was not well documented. So the Western people, and he did not explain the pathophysiology. So it was not accepted. Uh, though newspapers, I found a very interesting newspaper, two newspapers, Deccan and this, they quoted him as one of the discoverers of ORS. And just to complete the story, everyone has a teacher, and Dr. Dilip Mahalanavis also had a teacher. His teacher was Dr. Shambhu Nadde. If I ask you among the audience, who discovered cholera, bacilli, most of you would quote Robert Koch. That's what was written in our books. But actually, it was Passini, the Passini's corpuscle. But the question if I ask you, who discovered cholera toxin, you'll have no answer. Because a Nobel laureate like Robert Koch, he had told cholera is caused by an endotoxin. For the first time, Shambhude, the teacher in the same college, in which Deep Panavis was studying, showed the world it was not endotoxin, it was exotoxin to be precise, introtoxin, and the famous rabbit loop experiment which he published in Nature has been quoted 10 million times. But out of utter frustration, at the age of 58, he left. So what is common apart from being from the same college? Much later, he was invited by the Nobel Committee to give a Nobel oration because his work had changed the understanding of science. At least nine Nobel Prizes were awarded. On the extension of his work, because as you know that how this receptors, the G protein gets stimulated, how the adrenal cyclase gets stimulated, and the cyclic AMPs. He was nominated a number of times for Nobel prize, none other than a Nobel laureate himself. The point which I am trying to stress was, they writes, I do not believe in Cox's poison theory, according to which the cholera bacteria produces an exotoxin, endotoxin that will kill the victims. It took 76 years to find out the real cause and this is it. Again, a name which is never taken. But if you go anywhere in Europe, including in Stockholm, and he was giving the Nobel oration, there was a pin drop silence, and he said, I had been buried long ago, you have exhumed me. With this, 
I would like that most of you sitting in this could spread this news that there are Indians who have changed the course of science, yet they are not recognized by our own fellow men. Thank you.